Welcome again everybody to a new video and in this video we are going to discuss the types of the intraoral x-ray sensors that are used in the uh, to capture uh, intraoral radiographs. Uh, actually they are divided into two uh, basic uh, or two uh, major categories. Uh, the first one is what is known as the indirect image acquisition or the PSP as we will know uh, uh, now what the, uh, what the name ne uh, means and there is the direct image acquisition uh, uh, or the uh, CCD and the CMOS. Uh, the PSP are plates which are processed in a scanner hence there is no direct connection between the plate and the computer that displays the image that's why it is called as an indirect image acquisition while the direct the CCD and the CMOS is a, there is a direct connection or a cable in between the uh, sensor and the computer and the image is directly after being <coughs> captured it will be uh, displayed on a computer monitor that's why we call it indirect and direct so basically the name uh, di the divides it into whether the image is directly showing on the on the computer by a cable or it needs to be processed by a scanner so this is the indirect and this is the direct okay what does the abbreviation mean? The PSP stands for Photostimulable Phosphor Phosphor Plates. And in a previous video, I have discussed this, uh, uh, the mode of action and uh, how it works. Uh, and the CCD uh, uh, stands for the Charged Coupled Device. And the newer version of the direct uh, image acquisition sensor plate uh, sensors is the CMOS which uh, abbreviates the complementary metal oxide semiconductor so you will find these in the market either uh, these are basically all the same photostimu uh, uh, phosphor uh, photostimulable phosphor and this one is either a CCD which is used in actually the bigger x-ray sensors and the uh, OPG and the lateral surf, the smaller ones uh, tend to use the uh, CMO stack. Okay. Uh, when it comes to the sensor thickness, these are always slim because it's a plate that is coated with phosphor and that's it. While the uh, direct image uh, sensors are thick in most of the cases. However, many instances or many companies are trying to reduce the uh, thickness, but again, uh, it is thicker than the uh, indirect plates. Why? Again, if we go back to our video, uh, we will understand why, but just to give you an idea, the thick uh, direct sensors, actually all the image uh, capturing and rendering to light and then uh, to uh, uh, a computer language is done within the sensor itself that's why it is uh, thick so it's compacted in a single uh, component but the other one you don't need to have uh, to uh, it only stores the image and then you need to uh, uh, process the image somewhere else that's why uh, these are <coughs> slim the area of the tooth uh, of the teeth covered in the uh, in the direct in the indirect type it is bigger why because the whole sensor uh, the area of the sensor is actually all of it is a uh, uh, active area there is no losses in here while in the direct type uh, the areas the the sensor the active area of the sensor is always smaller than the real size of the uh, of the uh, of the uh, sensor itself so this actually tends to increase its bulkiness uh, 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 and reduces the size of the image 
So uh, these these uh, the uh, indirect sensors, they are their coverage area is bigger uh, and they are thinner, while those on the uh, uh, of the in, uh, of the direct sensors, uh, the uh, sensor is bigger, and the coverage area is uh, yet still uh, uh, less. Available sizes, uh, those come actually in four sizes: uh, two pediatric, that size zero and size one, and then there is the long bite wing, and there is an occlusal when you combine two bite wings. It depends on the manufacturer. Uh, the sizes of the direct type are uh, uh, not that flexible. Uh, it's only it comes either in size uh, one and size two. So it's a small size and a large size, which we commonly use as the pedo size and the adult size. So you have more size for variation in the indirect type of sensors. Uh, uh, this can fit in a regular film holders. Remember the uh, older films, the analog films. Uh, these, because they are the same thickness of the uh, uh, of the analog film, so they can uh, use uh, can be fitted in the film sensors, the regular ones. However, the direct type they need their specific type uh, of their holders to accommodate for the different sizes, and it has uh, like a clip or a jaw uh, to hold the sensor in place. So you cannot fit it, uh, uh, slide it in a small slit. Uh, and again, this has been all discussed in the videos. So, you, if you're going to use the parallel technique, you need to purchase a, a, speci a special uh, sensor holders that are dedicate, dedicated for, for this type of sensors. Here, no, you can use the analog film holders if you have any remaining from your older version. When it comes to price, uh, both of them are expensive at the time of the purchase. However, uh, 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 in the uh, uh, indirect type, you need to replace uh, replace uh, replace these sensors uh, 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 because they tend to scratch and they lose their uh, uh, proper image quality. While those are expensive at the beginning, but as it's only the time of purchase, and they are seldom uh, need. Uh, uh, they need seldom actually uh, replacement because they work for a longer time. These tend to be, you know, they degrade by uh, as they age, so you need to purchase them. So at the at the end of uh, the road, these tend to be more expensive. That is the uh, indirect type from the uh, from the direct type. Usability, both of them are usable. Reusable. These can be used for a longer that I mean the direct tab can be used for a longer time than the uh, indirect tab. As I said in the previous point, uh, uh, they have limited ability uh, to be uh, uh, to, to, to maintain. It depends, of course, how you, how you use them. If you uh, if you use them properly, the they don't t scratch. Their main problem is that they scratch when you use them, so they will lose their uh, proper image quality and you will have white scratches on the images. So you need to replacement. Re replacement. So the, 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 the gentle use actually of this uh, would pay at the end uh, uh, if you use them uh, properly. You increase the uh, time of their use. Uh, plates, uh, uh, when it comes to durability, plates may be scratched by rough use, so you need to be gentle with them. These are more robust. Uh, you, uh, they are solid. Uh, uh, the only thing that here actually you need to take care of is the cable. Please don't uh, 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 bend those cables because bending, uh, bending the cables will uh <coughs> Uh, will will uh, uh, definitely harm them. Uh, the the sensor will remain uh, u u useful, but the image cannot be transferred properly to the computer, and then you need to replace the whole thing. It cannot be you cannot replace the cable only. It comes all in a in a in a one piece. Uh, 
Infection control is the same for both of them. You cannot sterilize them or uh, autoclave them. Uh, both of them need to be uh, wrapped in a disposable uh, barriers for infection control. You cannot uh, cold sterilize them again. It's only uh, re uh, d disposable uh, sensor uh, covers and these sensor covers usually for these uh, both of them actually there are uh, customized uh, sensor covers that uh, snugly uh, uh, or where the, the sensor snugly fits inside the uh, <coughs> uh, its cover. However, you can use your syringe uh, uh, syringe sleeves if you don't have the uh, customized covers so that you can wrap or insert the uh, uh, sensor in the syringe sleeve and in this case I would recommend using double sleeves to uh, you know just in cases uh, if you want uh, uh, the, the, to, to protect the sensor inside uh, either way it is when it comes to comparison the customized, uh, customized uh, s sensor cover is the ultimate way of uh, using the uh, uh, infection control uh, uh, for these uh, sensors. The need for a nearby computer, the uh, indirect uh, type can be used remotely. So you, ne you don't need a, a computer just next to your clinic because uh, 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 you, what you're going to do is that you're going to capture the image and then you take it to a sensor and the, then the image will, uh, uh, will show a, on a computer which is attached to the uh, to the scanner to which is attached to the scanner okay uh, but here uh, you cannot you, you have to have a computer because these are USB type cables that are directly attached either to a desktop computer or a to a, lab com a laptop computer either way you need a computer just exactly next to the x-ray machine or your clinic so that you will have the image displayed readily on the uh, computer. Okay, the X-ray dose, both of them actually need, uh, they are very sensitive to radiation. If you compare them to the analog films, you, uh, you, have, you better have X-ray machines that are capable of producing exposure times up uh, or down to 0 0.02 of a second, 0 0.02 of a second, uh, this uh, minute amount of radiation is enough to produce image in either of these. So both of them are actually uh, sensitive to radiation, they are very fast if you compare them to the analog uh, films and this is the very main advantage of using the X-ray uh, sensors. Accessibility place may be uh, scanned uh, by any scanner regardless of the location of the exposure. So as I said earlier, you take the x-ray and then you go back to a scanner uh, which might be uh, remotely placed away from the x-ray machine. Here you don't need a scanner, that is the, uh, the direct type. The uh, image is directly seen on a, uh, uh, the attached computer. So when it comes to time management, the direct type is definitely uh, faster because the, the uh, intermediate step of processing, I mean taking the x-ray and then uh, processing in a scanner is eliminated and this of course uh, takes time.